welcome to lesson two of our defender game. In the last game, we, we've got our character moving left and right, and we've got our arrows firing. The next thing we need to do is to start to introduce an enemy to our game. Again, the way we're going to do the enemy is we're going to put the enemy off the screen, and we're going to make it as an active object. So I'm going to insert an object, an active, click OK, and I'm going to put it... I'm just going to move it off the screen. That's where it's going to start from. As usual, we need to give it a movement. So the movement we're going to give it is going to be a path. And we need to edit the path and we're going to go for a line. And I'm just going to go just straight this way. And you see, once we can move the screen over, we can, we can move it in our game. When when he hits this door, we want we want the character to disappear. So we're going to click OK. Now I'm going to now I'm going to test the movement, and we should see the character move across the screen. So I press F8, and he doesn't move. Uh, let's have a look. So our character has moved across the screen. So if I move him to here, I press F8 again. You can see that he starts to move that time. I suspect it's because I was, we haven't got the, the correct screen size. So let's have a look. Right, we haven't got the correct screen size. So what we need to do is we need to check our screen size. We've got 950 like we did in the first lesson. And let's have a look at our actual game size. And it's still at 640. So we need to go and change that. That's something we forgot in the first lesson. So now if I move my character off and I press F8, see the game looks a lot better, it's a lot wider and we've got a full screen. He's reached the end of the line and he stopped, which is good. We want him to disappear. So again, <clears throat> we can make a door. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clone this object and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller because we don't need to worry about it. We'll put that there. I'll rename it. We'll call it door. And let's just change the color. So we'll use the paint fill. Okay. Don't need to do that, but we've done it. So when our character hits the door, it'll, it'll disappear. So before we can do that, though, we need to put in a... Um, a rule to stop the hat to make it disappear. So we do Control E, and we'll do a new event, and we've got our defender. So I need to go back and and tidy that up. So I need to right click this and rename it. Let's call it enemy, and we should also rename our arrow. Okay, so we've, we've tidied up our naming conventions. So we go to Control E now, and I'm going to have a new condition, and I'm going to say when our enemy collides with another object, and that's why I made it red. So when he collides with the door, I want the I want the enemy to be destroyed. So defender, there's the enemy. When collision between the enemy and the door. And we'll do destroy. So now I'll, I'll go to run the game, and you should see that as he reaches and hits the door, he disappears. So that's tidied it up. That looks a lot better. So that's that's our collision between between the enemy and the door. We now need to we now need to reset the enemy and make new ones. So we probably need to do in a new condition. And this time it's going to be on the stop on the timer or stopwatch. And we're going to say every one we'll 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 do it for every every two seconds. No, we'll do it for every two seconds. Um, for every two and a half, for two two and five hundredths of a second, we will we want to create a new enemy. We don't do it under the enemy though, we do it under a new object. 
So every two seconds, you create a new object, and it'll be an enemy. We click OK, and we can go for actual coordinates in this particular case. So we want it to be there. Again, we're going to need to move these when we put our characters in. So we click OK, and now if I run the game, you'll see that they're starting to come along. They're in, they're in the ground at the moment, so it doesn't look too neat, and the refresh rate isn't good on my screen because I'm using a virtual machine and recording. But you can see our enemy coming along nicely. So if we wanted to change the position, uh, all we need to do is um, click the act piece and just move it up a bit, that's all. So there's our enemy. So we've got him come along, so we now need some collisions. So to do that, new condition, and let's have a look. Collision with the arrow with another object, and that will be the enemy. And when they collide, we want to destroy it. So we've got to destroy a rule there, so we can drag that down. So we'll try the game. So press F8. And you can see that they did that it, that it did actually destroy the character. So that that was tidy. So we now we've now got a collision. We've now got we've, we've now got that. So we now need to put in. We might as well put in a score. So so we go to Control M and just click on the desktop. We'll go to Games. We'll put a score in. We'll put the score in the corner. I want to make it a bit bigger, I do. Okay, so there's the score. So control E now and be a new condition and will be on the player. So let's have a look. And let's have a look. No, it won't be there. So it'll be a collision between the arrow and the enemy. Then we need to go to the, the player and we need to do score and we need to add to the score and we'll just add one. So we click OK and F8 that and one, two, three. So the score's going up. The only problem we've got is that we also want to do it every time he misses, we will lose arrows. So we'll We'll sort that out next, but we also want to do it to so each time they they hit it hit the door, the game will end. So we can put in a new condition, and that'll be a collision with another object, and that that will be the door. So so but we've already done we've already done an enemy collision, so we'll cancel that. We've got a collision between the enemy and the door, so we want to we want to remove lives. So we've got a control M insert an object and put some lives in and can put those there and then let's go back to control E. So every time there's a collision with the door we want to go to the player rule and we want to number of lives subtract from number of lives and we just take one off. So every time and then now we'll run the game. So we know that we know our score goes up one, two, and the final one should should end there. So that that that's as far as we'll go for this lesson. We've got our enemy in, we've got our score in, we've got our lives. Now we'll start to uh, add some complexity to our game in the next lesson, and we'll add some we'll add different levels, and we'll also give a set number of arrows. So until the next lesson, thank you very much.